This off-season has been biblical, and that is exactly why the end times have been so perilous. With CSGO coming to an end, things have gone crazy. There's no famines or pestilence at the Bible prophecy just yet, but Navi's new roster is certainly unholy. You'd be mistaken for thinking this bizarre graphic was a weird fanfic announcement. Alas for it not, Alexi B, IM and JL have joined Na'Vi, replacing Perfecto, Electronic and NPL. Uh, I, I'm speechless. Sybil's going to go back to coming in English, Bit will be coming in English for the first time in a team, and Alexi B is calling for Na'Vi. It, it's just all so strange. JL and IM or Emma both broke out as stars. Emma shone brighter, sure, but both are talented players. Immer was near and arguably the best rifle in the major, but he and Bit with Alexi B's micromanagement seems incredibly scary. It's a fun one, but quite how it will work in the server is yet to be seen. Uh, we want to believe, but we can't just yet. As soon as they win one map though... Cloud9 have confirmed both Electronic and Perfecto coming in to replace Naphne and Buster. Original rumours suggested it might be Hobbit leaving. Alas, Maui Snake is far, far too powerful and has willed Naphne into unemployment. Electronic, Shiro, Axile, Hobbit and Perfecto. Christ almighty, that sounds demonic. That is, on paper, a team without weakness. Unbridled aggression and raw opening skill from Axile and Electronic, twinned with the late round composure of Shiro, Hobbit and Perfecto, just sounds unbeatable? If Shiro and Axile are ever going to ascend to true greatness, this is the roster to do it on. Speaking of greatness, Major Winner's Vitality weren't happy with the blessing they'd received and decided to twist on 19. Dupree, the most decorated player in CSGO, will be leaving Vitality's starting five in lieu of the Mercurial Flames. Though it raised some eyebrows, sometimes it's good to change when you're on top. You might stay afloat by treading water, but you won't be winning any races. The Flames is ridiculously talented, aggressive and raw. If you want to talk about surprising moves though, you want to talk about Team Liquid. Have you lost your in-game leader, a stalwart of North American Counter-Strike? No worries, the replacement's obvious. Well, obviously you make your Kindar the in-game leader, sign a Russian entry fragger to replace his old roles, and then pick up a little known late rounder from Bulgaria, vacating the region that you not only made your name in, but helped to form. Yeah. Patsy and Rainway can move into Team Liquid, replacing the outgoing Nitro, and well, you might want to sit down for this one. Elige is out too. One of the greats from North America is out after spending nearly his entire career on Team Liquid. We honestly never thought we'd see the day. In their stead stand Patsy and Rainwaker, who have an incredible amount of pressure on their shoulders. These moves have to work, or Liquid would have alienated the very people who would have gone to war for them three months ago. Not that the players will care, Patsy's an easy going live wire with electric aim to match, or Rainwaker has ice in his veins, a classical late round clutcher like Cold Zero or Naf. So where will Elige land? Rumours suggested EG were going to pick up, well, we'll get to that in a second, but he actually went straight to complexity with no preamble, no foreshadowing, it just kinda happened. North American fans, you do still have a home. Elige was replacing the outgoing Fang. Evil Geniuses did try to pick Elysia up along with Zorty, Jax and Electronic. For whatever reason it never materialised, perhaps the stitching on the monster wasn't quite good enough, and they ended up just promoting the Blueprint team. Which, fine, it's not the superstar team they tried to get, but at least NA fans have another team to watch, and we're much more willing to give them a bit of leeway and a bit of credit. It's a win-win, essentially. Going back to Europe, Mouse are making a double switch. Dexter is out, with the bird who left their nest coming back to roost. That's Siwi if we didn't make it obvious. JDC, however, won't be linking up with his old leader as he too has been replaced by an academy player, such as the Circle of Life. Jim Fat, the younger brother of Sergei, is being moved up to the main team of Mouse. Fnatic in the meantime picked up the outgoing Dexter and paired him up with Afro to create their new five-man lineup. That one kinda came out of nowhere. Nikodos had been rumoured to be out and Fash had been picked up, but Dexter was completely out of left field and Afro is a relative unknown, at least compared to Crims. That roster could be a fun one, but it could just as easily peter out. On Fascia, he's on his way to OG with Keto and Regali. Those three join Nexa and Fiku to create a bizarre quintet that almost nobody would have put together. Who has the Star Rifle roles on that team? 
that's not a rhetorical question, we've got literally no idea. Borup and Stair have joined Astralis, replacing Glaive and Altex. We can't help but feel sorry for Altex, who was exceptional for the Academy team and had a very short stint to show what he could do on the main team. At least we do know that Borup and Stair are good players. Maybe this is the move that finally makes Astralis great again. A sentence we've said too many times. Blame F is in-game leading, for those wondering. He's done it in the past, but it's never taken him to elite levels, but he can do it. Hampers is back to NIP, which is far less exciting, we've seen this before. Jerry and Zorty are available, but nobody seems to know where they might be going ever since the EG Zorty rumour died. Falcon somehow outmaneuvered everyone to pick up Boros, as well as Lanx and MHL. That team might go under the radar, but there's some really legitimately scary talent on that team. Do not sleep on them. Big signed Mantu, who apparently does speak German, and promoted Sin and Process over Favon, who was taking a break, and hyped. Brazil has gone a bit crazy. Furia have moved on safe and drop, with, and we're not fucking with you here, Fallen replacing the Orpa. There were rumours of Fur joining the team too, but they died down and the Mercurial Cello took the final spot. That is a Brazilian super team if ever there was one. Art is staying, but presumably it's just a dedicated lunatic. We mean entry fragger. Same thing. Safe and Drop move straight to MIBR, replacing Turtle and Henny. Payne currently only have three players, with Nekis and Hearts are both bench. They were supposedly in for Fallen 2, but nobody knows quite who they're going for now. And since the first draft of this, a few more things have changed. Team Spirit have announced the call-up of three Academy players, Zontic, Artfrost and the wonderfully named Donk, all of whom impressed massively in the last year. Virtus Pro picked up Mir on a long-term contract, but only mentioned that he's replacing Norbert because of injury for now, with no mention of the future. You can't see me, but I'm aggressively shrugging my shoulders in confusion. Cypher, Jax and Inters are reportedly going to be the basis of TSM's own Motley crew. That one's a weird one. Things could change again, but for now that is everything you need to know about this roster season. A lot has happened and plenty of it's made us dizzy like the rest of you, so we hope we haven't missed anything out. What's your favourite move? Who's the newest contender for the number one title? Let us know, as always, down below.